Hello everyone and welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. I'm Laura and today Janine and I are heading to an estate sale and some thrift stores, some ones that we haven't been to before. So we're excited to go out there and see what we can find, but some bookkeeping first. We have a few packages to drop off and Janine got a new camera, which is really exciting. So we'll indicate who's filming in the video so you can sort of get a first hand point of view from both of us now. So it should be a fun day. Let's get going. We're in the car ready to head out. It is freezing out. I'm so cold. Um, we're going to an estate sale in Wayne, New Jersey. It is the second day. The listings look really cool, like really vintage stuff. No holiday, but uh, maybe there's some hidden stuff. We're gonna go and take a look and um, head out now. Old baby carriage is really cool. Wow. How cute. No. Oh my god, how much is it? Can we buy it? It's 150. How cute it's is never that? Used. I don't know about the print, but <laughs> it's really cute. There's another estate sale that we were going to go to that had Christmas stuff and today was the first day, but I get too anxious sometimes with the state sales. I love them, but like being first in line and like having to get it first, like stresses me out. Yeah. So people, this was nice to go to. People will um get very aggressive sometimes. Yeah, do you see them run in? They all like ran to the kitchen because I think they thought the Pyrex was still there, but um, we got a few things. Cards, more cards. Not yeah. The, like the one thing we really don't need anymore. I got some for myself though. Yeah. Because I, I just thought they were really cute. I didn't see the ones you got. I'm excited to see. Yeah. Um, and then I got some handkerchiefs that are made in Hong Kong. So not like super old, but probably from like the 70s that I think would be really cute for decorating with or crafting with. So I have a whole bag of them. So I'll resell some of them. But um, we're going to head over to some thrift stores, stores mm -hmm. that we haven't been to before maybe. Maybe Starbucks. I made coffee. I know. Dollar fifty. Seventy-eight. <clears throat> it's cool though. Janine spotted these candles, which are seventy-five cents each, mm. and they're like the perfect size for some vintage pieces. Mm -hmm. They're like not too fat, so. I might pick them up. Okay guys, we are now at the second thrift store of today, Unique in Union, New Jersey. Go to spot, great stuff. Let's hope that we have some good luck today. It is, what time is it? Is it's it like 12.30? Like, uh, nah, a little before 12.30. A little bit before 12.30. Hopefully there's some good stuff to still be had. Let's go. This looks a little older to me. I don't know why, but it's made in Taiwan, which means like 70s or 80s. That's cool. I've never really seen a um, vintage St. Patrick's Day planter. Yeah. I just found this little rabbit. It's like a flock rabbit. 
and it's a bank which I find interesting but it could be a cute little Easter display you know something to put up for Easter even put something in its back in that little slot where the money would normally go oh yeah sort of cute I just found this bag of Christmas stuff in the toy section it just seems to be a uh, trend for me I don't think it's anything special at least special for me it looks like a lot of plastic miniature maybe type ornaments but all plastic and new i like to look into the stuffed animals and see if there's any vintage or collectible stuffed animals look at his poor little face it's like a beak it's not even a mouth anymore how sad is that Aww. he's older he's made in korea Janine found some Pusheen stuffed animals for $2 each, which is a great price considering those stuffed animals are like $30 brand new. And this bag is $2.99 and it's mostly newer stuff, but she sort of stuck out to me just because of the paint job on her. It looks hand painted and her little face looks vintage to me, but it looks like she was glued on to something, so hard to tell if she's a japan piece maybe a korea piece and she probably had a little boy with her like they were kissing but i don't think he is in this bag i'm gonna see if he's in that bag back there so this is the bag that's right next to it it doesn't look like there's another figure in here which is too bad she's sort of cute but for three dollars on her own i don't think she is valuable enough to pick her up This planter catches my eye because it's in the shape of an airplane, which is really cute and different. It looks older to me. Let's see. $2.99. It is a Narco made in Thailand. And Narco is a ceramics company and they do date back to the 50s and 60s. I've never seen a piece made in Thailand. Makes me think it's a bit newer maybe from the 80s, but still interesting. I'm gonna put it in the cart for now. So this is pretty cool. This is a 2007 Starbucks Halloween mug. One recently sold on eBay for $45. So I think I'm gonna buy it. They have a lot of Easter textiles out. I found this little like napkin handkerchief. I think it's so cute. It'd be really adorable to decorate with. We have a shopping cart full here. It's sold recently on eBay for $45. $45 from on 2007. eBay? It's a pretty cute It's mug. really cool. Yeah. yeah. That's a, wow, that's a great find. Yeah. And um, this is a Fitz and Floyd. It's sort of cute if you're into cats. It, this is really cute. Isn't it? Yeah. Really cute, so. so I saw these two pieces. I actually saw this one first and it caught my eye right away because as a ceramic it has some of this red coming off and a lot of older pieces like the red paint would come off easily um it has sort of this matte finish which was popular in the 80s and 90s but i flipped it over and it's actually a japan piece so when you're out looking if you ever see like red chipped paint it's an indicator that it could be an older piece is that a um would that be for crackers what would that be for i don't know i guess you could really put anything in here but it um it caught my eye but right away I thought it was a reproduction because of the silver paint. You mm -hmm. never see like silver paint in vintage pieces. But then I saw his face and this looks a little bit more vintage to me. Not, you don't see as much detail in the face. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times like the Japan pieces had like great detail in the face and just was really well painted. Um, but it did remind me of a lot of Korea pieces. So I flipped mm -hmm. it over and it was made in Taiwan. So yeah, this is vintage, but it's just not as old and collectible as some of the older Japan pieces. I do really like those reindeer though. They're cute. Wow, they already have Easter out. I wonder if we can find some vintage Easter things. That's sort of cute. Candle climbers. These are not that old. You can tell right off the bat because of the I don't know, just the packaging. But they're probably from like the 90s. Sort of cute. These also aren't super old. Made in China, but they're novelty, so 
Say my so well. They have Easter out. Yeah. It's like cute, but it's like newer, so I don't know if that would sell. What does sell are um, vintage like Easter dye kits. Those are fun to find. This is terrifying. I don't like that. Using a uh, sand castle pail, sand pail. I don't know what you call these because the carts are just really horrible here. This is really cute. It looks like it's from the 90s, and I can tell that from the nose. They use a lot of plastic noses in like the 90s, 80s, and 90s for stuffed animals. A lot of times they have um, the date on the label. This one doesn't. I feel like I always see this deer here. It's kind of sad, it's cute. This caught my eye. This is definitely a Japan piece. Um, looks like it's missing the tag, or rather the sticker on the bottom. But this is a very common deer figurine. It's probably worth, I don't know, it depends what you're willing to pay maybe $8 or so on eBay, more. But for $5, it's not really worth it for me, but cool to see. She has a whole basket full. I'm using a sand pail. <laughs> I found some really, really nice things, I think. Really? Oh, a thunder shirt. Wow. No. Oh. Oh, <gasps> fridges? $3.99. Wow. They're in great condition too. Yeah. The cute. Like discolored, right? Like, discolored. Look. Oh. How cute is that? I don't know if I'll buy it. It's $6.99. Oh my god, why is it $6.99? That's a lot. I don't know. Hmm. Do you want to explain what's in the cart? A Ninja Turtle. A Ninja Turtle? Yeah. We had quite a long day. Did not expect it to be that long, but like, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah, we got some good stuff, I think. Um, my phone's about to die, so I didn't capture everything, but let's head back and see what we got. And we're back with quite a lot of stuff. I didn't realize how much we got. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, I guess you could say a fruitful day. <laughs> Let's jump in, Laura. These bags, what's in them? You wanna explain? Sure, so yeah, we went to the thrift store where I saw all these Littlest Pet Shops and my phone died before I was able to actually film this, but I know that these go for some money and I saw them in the cart, they had just put them out, so I grabbed all the bags and I was trying to like look up like the certain ones and see if any were worth anything on ebay and i just couldn't tell my phone was about to die so and what these are littlest pet shop yeah did i say that i think so yeah yeah these are littlest pet shop these are from the uh, mid 2000s so i just took a gamble and bought like four bags of them so i spent about 12 dollars on all of these um again a bit of a gamble and there's some like mixed yeah, toys things. in there but i know some of these can or lots of them can go for like hundreds of dollars so I'm gonna clean them up and do some research and um, probably sell them on eBay. So I'm sort of excited about this little project. Yeah, that's now. really exciting. Yeah. I did not know like anything about these, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Got these little troll dolls. Um, let me open them up. Okay, so now I remember why I bought the bag of trolls. I saw this little one with the heart and the red hair. I thought it'd be really cute for Valentine's Day. I wanna do like a little Valentine's Day display of like little things I got at the thrift that I don't know maybe you'll see in a video but so I saw that wanted to get that one and these two don't have anything on their little bibs but I mean I could add like a little easter egg for easter that'd, that'd be, be cute. cute you know and then this one this one's really 
funky. It's got the little tag on it still. Um, these are Russ. These four. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And then this one's just like unbranded, made in Korea. So, cool. Cool stuff. Cool. Oh, and... Oh, there's another one. There's a, there's a... Oh my god, why is it so big? <laughs> it's a really big one. Um, I think I'm gonna uh, sell this, um, maybe if we do a sale mm. before Easter. I thought someone might really like it. <laughs> because it, it is, um, it's Russ. It's, it, it's, it's fun for Easter, right? Like, it's fun. If you like trolls. If you like trolls. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. Cool. So the next thing I got at the same thrift store um, are these candles. And these are taper candles. And they're really cute. They have the bunnies on them. I only paid a dollar for them. And they're not super vintage because they are made in China. So yeah, I got the bunnies. And then these have um, little Easter baskets on them. Those are cute. Yeah, and you know, they're not like super old. But... I've sold ha Halloween ones like this before, and I think that they're pretty novelty, and they don't really make these anymore nowadays, you know? Mm -hmm. They're a little harder to find, so. Yeah, they are harder to find. I will probably sell these in an upcoming sale, so. For a dollar, I thought they were pretty cute. I found this. Um, This is a Japanese... Sanrio characters. Sanrio character, yep. Little twin stars, and this is just, like, tinfoil, actually. It's really cute, and I've seen this before at Daiso. It's regularly $5 or so, and I got it for a dollar. It was 50% off, so just a fun buy so i got this what do you think this is a napkin maybe i thought the colors were really cute for easter i think it'd be really cute to put a planter on top of that mm. like one of the planters so i picked this up and it was only 99 cents i thought that was a really good deal i love how vibrant the pinks are and the mm -hmm. purples really so, cute i got this um towel it's from target 2016 and i got it for 50 cents or actually 75 i think but it's got a really cute chicken on it and for easter i thought it'd be really cute in the kitchen so yeah that is a really cute little towel so i found these fridges for such a good yes. price i was so excited when you showed See me that these they say pyrex right there yep and they're in really good condition and they're only four dollars and they were 3.99 four dollars each and they have the lid yeah, that's a great price. Usually when they're that price, they're, like, really damaged. Dishwasher ruined. I had to purchase these. You've been wanting some fridges. I have. So I saw these, and, and oh, my God, I was so excited. Great score. Thank you. So this is the Fitz and Floyd um, little cat mug. It's so cute. There really wasn't much on eBay. Which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on eBay. Because I'm not, like, in love with it. But I just thought it was a really nice mug. It's nice for somebody who likes white cats. Yeah. I think this cat's adorable. It's cute. But, yeah. Really cute. And it was only $1.49. Made in Japan. Really nice. cute. I found this sweater. I Same issue with the mugs. I've got to stop with the sweaters. Like, mm -hmm. enough is enough. Let's hold it up so you guys can see. So I paid $7 for this. It does look vintage from the 80s would be my guess. Just it's based on the colors. Made in Korea as well. Yeah. So it's got this like really big like floppy turtleneck. Um, and it's just got really fun colors and pattern. So another sweater added to the collection. Yeah, so that's... I a... was like, why does she have a tiny <laughs> luggage? Bag? I'm actually going to... Uh travel with it no it's for american girl doll and it's american girl branded hmm. an actual authentic american girl um luggage piece and i bought it to sell on ebay because they they sell I'll probably um sell it for maybe 15 nice. give or take plus shipping yeah cool i found this planter it is not super vintage. It is made in Taiwan, but you don't often see a St. Patrick's planter. Mm -hmm. So I thought this could be really cute if people had little figurines to place next to it for uh, St. Patrick's. So I'm going to end up selling this. But cute. Janine found this one. Yeah, this has the little tag on it as well. little Pusheen tag. I also got this one. Mm. So I think I'm going to sell them possibly as a lot on eBay.
you know, it's just good, like, when you're thrifting for yourself, if you find one or two pieces that you can flip, then make the money that you possibly spend. Yeah, exactly. That's why I picked up the Littles Pet Shop. Um, to help cover some yeah. of the cost. And it's also that if, like, if you like the piece, too, if it doesn't sell, like, you know, I like these. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it's not that big of a deal. But this was, um, I'm going to sell these. And I'll probably... I'll probably put something on the screen as, like, sold comps right now. Cause mm. I, I can't remember what it was, but... Two dollars isn't bad. No, Holy yeah, thing. and I think that was uh, 50 off? I forget yeah, what color 25. it was. 25. 25, yeah. yeah. If your dog has anxiety um, with especially fireworks, thunder... We've used it in the car, too. We use these for our dogs. Yeah, they work great. And, yeah, they definitely help them. And to find one for two ninety nine was a great deal because these like these are like thirty dollars at PetSmart. Mm -hmm. This is the size that my dog wears, so this is just like a great investment <laughs> for my dog. <laughs> we went to a really interesting thrift store for our first stop, and Janine spotted these candles, which were seventy five cents a bundle. Um, and the reason why I purchased them was because they are a pretty interesting size. A little bit on the smaller size and i thought that they would be perfect for some christmas ceramics that we have mm -hmm. i'm gonna put them in the noel ones that oh, we that just got really nice. and see how they look so these are cool to find like i said before i want to do a little valentine's day display and i thought this was really cute and i could put like some cute little um pics inside of it maybe with like some hearts on it like you recently purchased mm. from like dollar tree um yeah and it just loves cute <laughs> so that's for keep not for sell this starbucks mug was surprising to me um i saw recently one sold within the past probably like five six days for 45 dollars. it's um it's a 2007 trick-or-treat halloween starbucks mug wow and it sold for like 45 dollars. oh that's so. so cute the little pumpkin there yeah it's it's really cool too if we didn't have a thousand mugs <laughs> especially like holiday yeah um i might consider keeping it but i'm not crazy about that size and mm. shape mug so that's gonna, great though yeah it's really cool great flip yeah and then we went to an estate sale and mm -hmm. i didn't get too much i did get these handkerchiefs i got the whole bag and they're not too spectacular they are Lillian Vernon, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They are Lillian Vernon, made in Hong Kong. So from the 70s or the 80s. Um, they're just like a simple holly berry pattern. But I use similar handkerchiefs in my Christmas decorations. So I thought people might like to have these. And I will definitely sell these. So there's 10 in here. And I spent um, less than $5 on these. So... So that was cool to find. Yeah, that's a great deal. Yeah, I got these little lights. The only like vintage Christmas that was actually there. <laughs> um, these are cute because of the packaging. Um, how can you tell they're vintage? Well, they say made in Japan and there's no barcode. Yeah, so. that's pretty cool about those. Is that they screw in. Yeah. Rather than the, mm -hmm. the push ones that we are used to. Mm -hmm. So that's and really cool. They're 59 cents. So I just like that Santa graphic on there and i will sell these in an upcoming sale this is a set of playing cards i got them for 75 cents which is great because these i've seen and i've actually wanted to buy them at barnes and noble i've seen these for i think they're like either i think they're between nine and fifteen dollars i forget how much they are but playing cards at barnes and noble are pretty expensive so to find this pack which is at least ten dollars brand new at the store for 75 cents I was so happy. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very pretty fine. cool. At the estate sale, we grabbed... Well, actually, this is basically your pile, Janine. Yeah. So I found a, a box of cards. Had to look through them. Um, You purchased... Those three. I really like this one. I just want to so show cute. this one. This is a card from Burke and Sons Service Center. And you can see Santa is helping Mrs. Claus fuel up her car which is just absolutely adorable. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. When you open it, there's a punch-out uh, calendar from 1972. So pretty cool. Yeah. But I love the... I love that. It's yeah. so cute. It's really cute. Different. It's pretty fine. I found one Valentine. It's kind of... I, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. It's kind of weird. Um, but if you can sort of see, it's a ship inside of there. 
Um, yeah. And then it looks like that on the inside. There's only one vintage Valentine. We went the second day to the estate sale, so there may have been others, which would have been cool. But there was tons of old baby cards, and I'll just show you a few. That one I thought was adorable. This one. This one. This one I think is my favorite of the little ones. Oh, how sweet. And then I got a couple... And these are all like mid century, Christmas. like right. Yeah, they're from 1960. Oh, did they date it? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So just some really cute cards, some Christmas ones. This one I really, really like. It's got some really mm. nice gold to it. Nothing too, um. You know, different, but very cute. And I'm sure yesterday, like I love that illustration. I'm sure yesterday they had uh, a lot of really nice cards. Mm. But surprised how many were left. Yeah. And we found this. Fun... I didn't mean to get this. It was just in the pile, and I never took it out. <laughs> I thought it was cool. These are um, recipes using wise potato chips. Yeah, that was really fun. Quite too. a few interesting recipes in here, like chip coffee cake. I found this really awesome book of postcards but they're they're reproduction holiday postcards hmm. so it's another thing that i think would be great for display or i have a halloween shadow box that i think some of these halloween cards would look really cool because if these were new if these were real vintage halloween they would be like how much money like a hundred dollars yeah so i mean the odds of me ever owning one of these are pretty slim um oh my god that's so cute <laughs> so this was pretty cool to have and you know it has all the different holidays I yeah it's pretty cool this one i think is my favorite mm. i like that one too mm -hmm. and i think we got that plus all the cards and this guy and this um for eight dollars so yeah. not bad but I think that wraps up everything we found for today. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm excited. I'm going to open these up and start looking on eBay. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. So thanks for joining us, guys. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're really excited to show you guys more adventures as we go thrifting and hunting for more vintage. We'll see yeah. you next time. Bye. Bye.